Hello, I'm Dr. Savan Hilo, the head of male infertility at Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. One of the most common questions I get from my patients is, what can I do to improve my sperm counts? I've created this video with information I hope that you'll find helpful. Here are a few simple steps that can increase your chances of producing healthy sperm. First, maintain a healthy weight. Higher body mass index, or BMI, causes lower sperm count and sperm movement or motility. Eat a healthy diet. Choose plenty of fruits and vegetables which are rich in antioxidants. Prevent sexually transmitted diseases. Sexually transmitted diseases such as chlamydia and gonorrhea can cause infertility in men. Manage stress. Stress can reduce sexual function. It can also interfere with the hormones needed to make sperm. Get moving. At least two hours of moderate to strenuous physical activity each week can help protect sperm. Stay cool. Increase scrotal temperature can hurt sperm production. Wear loose-fitting underwear, avoid sitting for long amounts of time, avoid saunas and hot tubs, and limit your scrotum's exposure to warm objects such as a laptop. Here are a few common things that can hurt your sperm counts. Smoking. Don't smoke. Men who smoke cigarettes are more likely to have low sperm counts. If you smoke, ask your doctor to help you quit. Alcohol. Limit your alcohol intake. Heavy drinking can lead to reduced testosterone production. Testosterone is the male hormone that's important for your sex drive, erections, and sperm production. If you drink alcohol, do so in moderation. As little as one to two drinks a day can be harmful to your sperm counts. Drugs. Don't use drugs, including marijuana. Marijuana is harmful to sperm counts. It's also been shown to be harmful to children whose parents use marijuana before the child was born. Lubricants. Avoid using lubricants during sex. Some lubricants can hurt the ability of sperm to fertilize an egg. If necessary, consider using baby oil, canola oil, or a fertility-friendly lubricant such as Preseed, Conceive Plus, or Yes Baby. Limit the use of certain medications if possible. Calcium channel blockers, antidepressants, medications for attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, Anabolic steroids and other medications can contribute to fertility issues. If you're concerned about any of the medications you're taking, discuss this with your doctor. Watch out for toxins. Being near pesticides, lead, and other toxins can affect sperm quality and quantity. If you must work with toxins, do so safely. For example, wear clothing and equipment that protects you. Avoid skin contact with chemicals. Foods you can avoid to improve your fertility include... Processed red meat, such as hamburgers, hot dogs, bacon, and salami, as little as half a serving daily can lower sperm counts by up to 60% and sperm motility by 35%. Full-fat dairy products. Full-fat dairy products have been shown to reduce sperm motility. Use low-fat dairy products instead. These appear to help sperm motility. Trans fats. Trans fats are found in fried food, frozen food, margarine, meat, and dairy. In healthy men, trans fats lower sperm counts and reduce sperm quality. Sugar. Foods or drinks high in sugar reduce sperm motility and concentration. Vitamins and supplements. Some vitamins have been shown to improve fertility. In general, you should be getting all the vitamins you need if you're eating a healthy diet with fruits and vegetables. Don't feel the need to spend money on expensive supplements. You can get most of the vitamins you need in a daily multivitamin. The vitamins that have been shown to be most beneficial for male fertility are vitamin E, selenium, vitamin C, zinc, coenzyme Q10, and L-carnitine. If you want to buy a supplement for male fertility, fertile aid, FH Pro, and Go Dog Go contain these vitamins. Timing sex and ovulation. In an average 28-day menstrual cycle, ovulation typically occurs about 14 days before the start of the next menstrual period. To calculate the best time for intercourse, take the total number of days in the female partner's cycle and subtract 14 to calculate the date of ovulation. Start having intercourse daily five to seven days prior to the estimated date of ovulation and continue for at least two days after anticipated ovulation. 
Sperm can live for up to five days in the female tract, so you want to maximize your odds of getting pregnant during this window. If you can't easily calculate the date of ovulation, or if your partner's cycles vary significantly from month to month, you should begin having intercourse around day seven from the onset of bleeding and continue for two weeks. If your partner isn't sure how many days her menstrual cycle is, she can keep track using a menstrual calendar app or consider using ovulation test strips, which she can purchase over the counter. Lastly, if you have low sperm counts, you should be aware of an increased risk of certain cancers. Prostate cancer. Screening for prostate cancer includes a blood test called prostate-specific antigen, or PSA, and a rectal exam starting at age 55. If you have a family history of prostate cancer, you should start screening 10 years before the age of your family member when they were diagnosed. Testicular cancer. Men between the ages of 20 and 40 are at higher, highest risk. You should perform regular self-exams and contact your doctor if you notice any changes. Melanoma. Let your doctor know if you notice any unusual moles or skin changes. Colorectal cancer. Screening with a colonoscopy starts at age 45. If you have a family history, talk to your doctor because you may need to start screening earlier. I hope that you found this video from the Mayo Men's Health Moment series informative. If you'd like to schedule an appointment to be seen at Mayo Clinic, contact us using the info pictured on your screen. This is Dr. Svon Hilo from the Mayo Clinic signing off. Thank you for watching.